Hey guys, it's Tasha here from Art Song and Soul and I just wanted to share with you these magnets that I make. Um, I've been meaning to share these with you for ages because I make a lot of them and I've been making them for a few years now and I just, um, oops, sorry guys, and I just keep forgetting to show you guys. Um, but I make these for my market. Sorry about all the shadows. I'm totally videoing at the wrong time of the evening but um, I've got a market tomorrow and hopefully these will all be gone um, so I thought I would make this video now I'm a bit random like that um, but yeah I just wanted to give you a little look and just show you how easy they are and um, you guys can probably think of heaps of other things um, to create these magnets with oh to grab, grab that one. So yeah, like I said, I sell these at the market. So if you guys have a market store, these are really good to make because they're cheap. You don't hardly use any, you know, expensive materials. You can make them up in batches and they're one of those things that you can sell really cheap. I like to have a couple of items that I sell really cheap in my market. It just brings people in and they look at your other stuff and sometimes people have a budget or whatever but they really want something something little and so you know it's that kind of retail therapy they just want to buy something so I sell these for a couple of bucks and everybody's happy anyway so these are my Jenga magnets and they're just Jenga blocks these are the generic kind they're not the official Jenga blocks um, I get these at the thrift store and I can guarantee every time I go to get some there is a box of them in the kids section. They're not that hard to find or you can go and rip your kids off um, off their Jenga blocks or go and ask your friends. Anyway, or you can just cut wood and you know I think about magnets all the time now. <laughs> like oh I can make magnets out of that, oh I can make magnets out of that. Anyway. Um, if you're making them for market, you kind of want to make some stuff that costs you nearly nothing to make, and this is this is it, guys. Um, so yeah, I just cover my Jenga block with paper. I use scraps, um, and then I I use white glue, Scotch Quick Dry, or you can use Mod Podge, or or actually just white glue. But um, you know, I sell them. Like I've said that a million times now. Sorry, guys. Um, so I don't want anything unsticking or, you know, and people come back, so you want to make sure that things are on there good. Yeah, so I just cover them with the paper, I glue them down, I burnish it with my bone folder, I trim it to size, I used to sand all the edges, which you can do for a sort of distressed shabby look, but I don't bother with that anymore, I make so many of them up, I just distress the edges with my ink, this is um, walnut stain and it's too dark I don't like it I usually I'm a vintage photo girl see I just do that and then I just adhere words onto them um, if you're making them for yourself or for friends you know you could stick other embellishments on them but because <clears throat> I'm selling them to people who are not always crafty or scrapbooky I want to keep them simple and I find that these inspirational words and um, more meaningful quotes they sell really well everybody loves them I mean who doesn't want to read something meaningful and then what I do is I just go over them with a bit of glue over the top to make sure that is really stuck down and I like to use glossy mod podge because I like the glossy look but that is totally up to you and then I just glue one of these little magnets on the back. I use E6000 or super glue or really strong glue because you, you know you don't want it falling off. So I just thought these are good if you have a market or if you just want to put them in racks or for presents you can make heaps up at a time you know some with um, people's names on them would be cool. Dream Big is a very popular one. So the other day I went I was at the op shop and there were all these bags of these round discs and they were um, little wooden thin um, MDF discs and they were for making teddy bears and dolls and stuff I think it's like for the joints or I'm not quite sure but they came in bags and the packs were all the same and 
couple of the packs, one was like 60 cents and a couple were a dollar and a couple were 75 and then there was one pack that was two dollars and when I took all these packs up to the counter the lady said that she was going to, she said oh I'll give them to you for two dollars each a pack and I was like oh but the cheapest one is 60 like she'd met me halfway and said have them each for a dollar or have each pack for a dollar but she was going to charge me you know the 60 cent one two dollars and I was just a little bit like meh um you're not being cool lady so I <laughs> kind she sort of made me a bit grumpy so I was like nah leave it and I just got the one that was 60 cent but I'm kind of regretting it now because they made really cool magnets I like them because I was able to put um you know more more stuff on them so yeah you can use up your die cuts um I use alpha stickers old alpha stickers that nobody ever uses because they're too fiddly I use the little sentiment words that I don't usually use for anything um, you can stamp but I don't really have any I don't really have a lot of stamps I've just started using all these old um, some of you old school scrapbookers probably have these um, from making memories from way back in the day. I use up those now to do these big words so they work out. So yeah, the ideas are endless and I just think they're such um, cute little projects. They don't take long and whatever you put on there is going to look cute. Dreams are free, have heaps. Um, people love that one. People love love, lives here. You know, people love that kind of stuff. I love that kind of stuff. Be brave. Be you. So, that's that. And I've also got these little glass droplet ones. Um, what I usually do is use clear droplets and I put the word and the paper on underneath. And um, so the word shines through the top and people love those, which is why I haven't got any left. These glass droplets had this marble effect of white going through so I couldn't see the word. So I decided I'd just put the rub-ons over top which was a bit tricky and then I went over it with um, some glass varnish let's put the magnet on the back did I show you guys the magnet on the back so yeah I just thought that I would share those with you because they are really easy to make um, oh here's one there I have the little words that says joy in there I don't know if you can see that very well so yeah um, to me, these are really easy to make, and I know a lot of you are really clever crafters and will get the gist of this, but I often get messages like, oh, have you got a video for that, a tutorial for that, or whatever, and I don't. So this year, my goal is I'm going to not so much make more tutorials, but just turn the camera on when I'm making stuff, because I make so much stuff, guys, that I don't bother taking photos of, or, you know, because I make stuff for the markets, and I sell stuff online, and blah de blah blah so if anybody wants to see how I actually make these um, put a comment down below and the next time I make a batch I'll turn the camera on um, so that's me for now um, come over and join me on my Facebook because I put a lot more of my crafts over there and we can be friends and chat and all that kind of stuff for those of you who live in New Zealand and Australia I have started up the swap group um, I'll put the link down below. Um, I'm sorry it can't be international, but it's just, it's, um, postage is so expensive, so. And I don't know why I started the group up, because I really don't have time for it. But I just, crafting for me can be a little bit lonely, because I'm on my own all the time, so I just thought this would be a nice way to get to know some of my crafty friends. So anyway, um, I hope everybody is having crafty day. Um, thumbs up if you like this video. At Song and Soul, guys. All day, every day.